Alright, what's going on guys, it's Katz here, and welcome to episode 11 of my F1 2017 career mode. Um, today, we're going to finally be racing with higher difficulty and a longer race distance. We're also going to do a longer qualifying session, but uh, what I'm doing right now is just uh, buying some upgrades. I think I bought, um, bought a rear downforce upgrade to make the uh, downforce better on the car but um, let's get straight into um, the qualifying we are set to qualify in P8 um, and beat Max Verstappen two uh, goals that seem hard to beat here uh, in Hungary so this qualifying is not like the others um, or like the other uh, kinda qualifying that we did um, this is uh, sort of like the uh, uh, the practice where you just you're in the garage and you can go out, set some lap times, go back in the garage, change the tire. So you have uh, multiple attempts on beating the time. We just uh, see how Felipe Massa, our teammate, makes the fastest lap. As we are on our lap, um, that's Dan Ricardo making his fastest lap. We're just flying through the corners here. We're 1.2 seconds slower than Ricardo in sector 2. Valtteri Bottas makes his fastest lap. And let's see, that is P5 currently with 2.2 seconds slower than Valtteri Bottas. Um, not too good. Um, we're just gonna see here. Um, we need to qualify an 8th, so that is 0 0.347 seconds slower than uh, Carlos Sainz, who's in P8. So. We need to be uh, 0 0.3 seconds faster in our next lap. Um, so let's do it, if we can, hopefully. Um, if you're wondering uh, what those um, uh, li lines are in the corner, or in the corners, uh, they are racing lines, uh, because I'm uh, beforehand, I was driving um, with the game helping me to break in the corners. Now I'm breaking myself, so therefore I need something to tell me when I need to break. Because I'm I'm not that good at the game yet to know where exactly I need to break. Uh, but here it is, the final attempt we get, and we cross the finish line, and that is P9. Pretty disappointing, apparently. It's only one position lower than the expectations, and we did beat Felipe. Unfortunately, we didn't beat Max Verstappen. But, um... Yeah, Kevin Magnussen, P17. Uh, Felipe Massa, P11, so we're starting two places in front of uh, Felipe. That's good. The reputation level uh, <laughs> just dropped a bit there. Not, um... Not quite optimal, but uh, let's see what they want f uh, uh, from us in the race. P8 and beating Max Verstappen, of course. Uh, P9 in the uh, constructors, so um, let's get right into it. Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. And judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. Well then, I'll... Okay, so let's get into the um, strategy here. Where we see uh, here up in the um, session forecast that it's actually going to dry out. When I made this, um, this strategy, I didn't see that. So I um, made it to um, to pit in lap 9, which is a bit too early, because what would be um, optimal would be to change to um, dry tires. Um, so stay out a bit and then change to the dry tires, even though the strategy says uh, wets. But uh, we do run up in the back of uh, Sergio Perez there after the start. And uh, some part of the engine, uh, called the MG UK, which is the one that controls the rich fuel mixture, okay, is uh, worn. 
and, uh, we have a little bit of front wing damage, it's not much. Uh, Okay, so 10 minutes approximately till the uh, rain will dry out. Of course, not 10 minutes in the video. And we overtake Sergio Perez. That's a very surprising move. Did not look like we were gonna make that. So let's uh, go down here. There are yellow flags. Looks like someone's retiring. Yep, there's uh, a retirement. Um, if I remember correctly, that's Julian Palmer. Um, I did this race yesterday, and that's a virtual safety car. So now we need to go slow, just keep a bit of uh, warmth in the tires. Yes, that was uh, Julian Palmer out of the race. Uh, keep the tires a bit warm. Uh, uh, we do want to uh, catch up to the leaders. Um, okay, and that's green flags. Um, it says that it's clear, but if you look at the map, Julian Palmer is still standing. Oh, he's still stopped and he's still on the track. Uh, so, yeah, that's not too good. But he is getting uh, removed now. Uh, let's get a weather report. But uh, apparently, apparently we didn't. Uh, we wasn't allowed. We weren't allowed to. Uh, we weren't allowed to get the weather report before, but um, they expect us to pit in lap 9. And now it seems like Felipe Massa, our teammate, has an issue with the car. Not um, too good. The pit window is open for us. Um, so yeah, it has actually stopped raining, but since... Um, the uh, track is still wet, so the, there's still water on the track. We're gonna stay out until that's dry, because uh, I don't want to go into the pits, change over to wet tires, and then go into the pits a few laps later and to change over to dry tires. That's uh, that's just a waste of time. So I'm gonna stay out. And Sebastian Vettel is out of the race. The leader, who was so far in front of uh, the people in front of him has retired with an engine failure but uh, there we there we go uh, past the pits again on to lap 11 now a teammate is in the pits so Felipe Massa is uh, pitting okay so um, he says that it's we're getting close to um, the uh, Dry conditions, so um, okay. So he thinks that it's uh, it's a good idea to uh, stick with the um, with the wet tires um, for the moment. Uh, so uh, again, we go past the pits every single lap. And there we have it. The strategy change to stick uh, or to uh, change over to um, dry tires, and he says it just as we pass the pits. So he asked us to change strategy again just to a pit in lap 14 and not 13, even though we could have uh, denied it and still gone in this lap. But we're going in. For a pit stop, the first pit stop of this uh, green mode. We have a lot of cars behind us pitting as well. Look at all those pit crew members. Here's us, we pull in. They're a bit late at the starting and uh, we're being held because the people behind need to go past. That's a lot of positions lost there. Not uh, quite optimal in a 3.8 second pit stop, that's very slow. So now we need to um, catch up with uh, Sergio Perez. In front of us, we uh, look how much time we are gaining here in sector 1, 3.5 seconds faster. 
9.4 seconds faster in sector 2. Valtteri Bottas has just made the fastest lap. Kimi Raikkonen with the fastest lap. Our fastest lap is a 136.4. And there we have it, a 123.9. 13 seconds uh, faster. But Valtteri Bottas has won the race here as we are on the final lap. Very um, exciting race, I'd say. Um, with the uh, weather conditions. Um, that was quite... Um, quite a fun race to drive. Um, normally don't like uh, driving uh, Hungary in the wet but um, knowing that the um, the rain was gonna go away it was that was some good news uh, but P6 it is um, way more realistic result uh, than we've had before so uh, Mercedes have uh, won of course um, Valtteri Bottas uh, again Okay, uh, thanks for the kind words, Anthony Davidson. So we have um, Bottas P1, Raikkonen P2, and Hamilton P3. So there we have Bottas lifting the winner's trophy. Um, that's a well done job from him, uh, but it, he would not have been there if it hadn't been for uh, for um, Vettel retiring. That was uh, very unfortunate for uh, for Sebastian. But uh, nice uh, scenes on the podium here, and uh, apparently we started P7. I didn't really notice that. Um, someone in front of us must have gotten a grid drop penalty, actually two, because we qualified ninth, and apparently we started seventh. So I don't know. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. After all that excitement, so uh, the constructor standings are looking good. We're still in uh, the fourth, uh, and in the driver standings, uh, I didn't really see if we dropped down, but um, that was it was a good race result. We're still leading the rivalry with uh, Max Verstappen. And the reputation level just uh, climbed a bit there with the other teams. Uh, but yeah, that was it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.